I'm Jilly Goulden, broadcaster and wine person. I'm here because I'm a great supporter of cork and there's an initiative which is being launched. I love natural corks mm -hmm. and I'm here to start it off. The cork is hugely more reliable than it was and there have been great amount of investment research and it's improved enormously and in fact if you look at faults in wine closures you get as many faults from the alternatives to cork as you do to cork so it's completely a wrong allegation to say that I'm encouraging people to buy an unreliable product would I do that would a supermarket a huge supermarket like Sainsbury's would they actually have cork bottles if they thought they were unreliable? Too late. No. Too late. I don't think this is an initiative. We're talking about corks, which are a very traditional stopper for wine. It's been going since 1690, I think it was first used. And so it's not really an initiative. We have corks, we love corks. There's a great theatre to cork, a great tradition to cork. There are alternatives, such as screw caps. They have their place. I'm not going to take away from them. And some of the public might like screw caps. I think the vast majority prefer cork. Okay. Cork is extraordinarily diverse and it's used for things like space shuttle. Do you know that the space shuttle is actually um, insulated with cork and you've got of course badminton shuttlecocks and you've got all sorts of insulation and, and it's a very good barrier if you have a cycle helmet you could have cork in there but it's also used to stopper wine bottles and 70% of the value of the cork forest goes into stoppering wine bottles so very important. Okay. At this time on the planet, we're all trying to do our bit, I think, to um, be environmentally friendly and, and people are being forced to recycle. Britain is so far behind Europe in terms of recycling their waste. And it seems personally to me, this is my own opinion, inappropriate to introduce alternatives to something that's entirely natural and biodegradable and to replace it with something which is entirely unnatural and not. So you've got... A plastic stopper is actually um, comes from the petrochemical industry, and your little screw cap is made from aluminium, and it comes from open cast bauxite mines. Well, neither of those is really as environmentally friendly as something which is entirely natural and entirely um, homogenous with the society. So I'm talking personally here. I like doing my bit for the environment. I'm passionate about wildlife. I'm passionate about. Um, people doing their best to be as green as they can and I think buying wines with corks is a good thing to do. I, I'm against landfill. Screw caps? Do you know what? I don't think I'm aware of a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc under cork so I would be right. actually cutting off my right hand if I said I only want to have a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc under cork. Mm -hmm. To my mind they're all under screw cap as are Clare Valley Riesling so if you want to have a Clare Valley Riesling you have one which has a screw cap. I'm not an idiot. I taste wine because I enjoy wine. I love all wines and I will taste all wines no matter what the closure. But my personal preference is for cork.